The name of the project is Revelations. It is a collaboration between the Plugin Studio and the Graffiti Institute. And Miguel and I are working with teens um, to make augmented reality graffiti. We could take um, augmented reality, which is this new marketing tool um, where you take a smartphone and when you point it at a certain image, an animation or a video or another media is overlaid on top of it. So it's kind of like going around in the real world and by pointing your phone in the right place, you get this sort of secret message revealed. We want to provide safe spaces where people can explore the aesthetics and the practices of graffiti art without having to do it illegally and potentially get in trouble or go to jail. So thinking about um, putting graffiti in virtual space is, is really safe space. <laughs> Students who are trying this out for the first time are both learning how to physically move their body and started to get acclimated to, to the physical action of drawing large scale. And then they're also learning how to translate that into the digital realm. So learning also how to draw with a mouse using layers. Those are a whole other set of systems that are different, but a little similar in the way that they want to be able to draw their graffiti. In Cicero, there's actually not many walls, actually. Most of them are houses, and they're like private property. So they're not like big buildings uh, with like clean walls and stuff like that. On the computer, it's like you like mess up, but you could go back and you could undo your mistake. But on the walls, it's like you mess up and you can't go back and undo your mistake. One of the things that you can do with this process is, is you can work in a much bigger scale. So you can choose a large building and you can fill it up in this kind of amazing way, right? In a way that you couldn't in the real world because you're not, you're just not going to be able to do that. I took the front entrance of my school and I basically just colored in the windows and the doors, I covered them up. I want to like make the school look more colorful because like, the school is pretty bland. What I want to do with this project is problematize this, right? So that you're, instead of just looking at your phone and consuming the content that comes from there, I really like the idea of opening up a space where young people can make content that goes on their phone that's about their immediate environment. And how big is the wall, the real wall? It's a decent size, but I took just a section. So thinking about doing digital graffiti and augmented reality, there's a layer of, sub of subversion in that. So whether we're self-publishing in an analog fashion with spray paint on a wall, or we're self-publishing through Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, augmented reality, I think, is another way to self-publish. The cool thing is, if you see these places in reality, it'll still work with it. And this is another, another, another for the school. And I don't know if you're a Star Wars fan, but I am really a cool Star Wars fan. This is another one under the... You know, this was new, right? This was like an idea that I had, that I was really lucky to be able to realize it. You know, I was kind of thinking of it being the audience being Chicago, but they really brought it down to their neighborhood because first of all, they were really focused on their school, which, you know, speaks to the community that they wanted to reach. It's really great, actually, because then the kind of communication becomes really meaningful. I'm really happy with how far they came in eight weeks. I think they surprised themselves with how much they were able to do. I think it was a, a new way for them to think about art making, um, and it's, it's a new way for me to, to think about possibilities in the classroom as well. What I learned about this program and augmented reality is that uh, there's many different ways to, to involve graffiti. I want to get uh, known as like King One, be able to travel the world due to my graffiti, live a better life, get better stuff than as I am right now.